What is up guys, I am here in the garage to start off today's video. Um, we're back on the iPhone just for this one video because one of my Christmas presents was this very wide lens, like, look at that. This is much wider than the iPhone usually captures. So we're just gonna try this out for today, but the next video will of course be back to the C200 for the cinematic room tour. Today's video, as I promised a while ago, will be explaining how I wired the outdoor Christmas light setup this year. In the garage, everything's the same. We have a Wi-Fi outlet. This is not the same one we had last year. It's the same model, but it's not the same exact Wi-Fi outlet we had out here. But it is the same extension cord going back behind over to here and then out the garage door. So the wind kind of blew over these uh, little trees here, but that's okay. They're not gonna be out here much longer either way. And uh, as usual, the extension cord goes up to there into a three outlet extender. But as you can see this year, it's just one nice big green extension cord. And then that cord goes down and then over into the yard where it's plugged in here. And then that leads over to this thing, which is an actually like outdoor rated three outlet extender. One of them goes to the lights on the tree and the other one goes to these small Christmas trees. And as you can see, we didn't really get any snow this year. So there wasn't any danger of getting water in any of the outlets. So same thing here as last year, the white one on the right powers just the icicle lights. But now the one all the way to the left going onto the roof. Let me show you that really quick. So now up here on the roof, this is the cord that I was showing you before, but as you can see now, it's just one long extension cord. No more of that million extension cords daisy chained together up here. Over here is where it goes into that three outlet extender, somewhere down there. I found this in the garage and decided to use it. Also down there, I'll show you in a minute, that's not the same cord from last year either, just because it was getting a little old and it wasn't polarized at all, so it kind of was posing an issue. But there's that, guys. No longer is it just really ghetto rigged. I mean, it still kind of is, like, look at that, but it's at least a little bit safer than it was last year. Down on the ground now and you can get a better view of this three outlet expander here. This cord goes down to the garland and that is for those lights. And the ones on the window are now no longer there because they kind of just fell off. So didn't really feel like putting them back up so that's how it stayed. This cord right here in the middle, that goes down this thing. Don't know what to call it, but then follows along here where it ends because this is a shorter cord but then we have another one of these things so we've got spiral light or spiral tree rather plugged into the rightmost one other spiral tree is in the left and um the middle just goes to that tree there. So there you go guys, that is going to be it for the short video on how I less ghetto rigged the Christmas light setup this year. Next year there probably will be more lights out here than this, but it just didn't happen this year. But I did get more lights, didn't put them up this year, but they will be up next year. So there you go guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching.